The Judicial Service Commission's subcommittee investigating the Deputy Chief Justice Nasi Baraza has begun writing its report after it concluded gathering evidence. The committee interviewed several witnesses today and will now finish writing its report in readiness for presentation to the JSC on Friday. Representative's Brenda Wanga reports the JSC is just the beginning of the long process of concluding the case facing Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Baraza. The Judicial Service Commission subcommittee probing the conduct of Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Barraza has finished collecting evidence from those involved in the alleged gun drama. Now it is on to the process of writing its report to be handed over to the JSC on Friday. But that action by the JSC is just the first in a long and winding process of dealing with complaints against serving judges in the country. The new constitution lays out an elaborate process that must be followed to the letter when seeking the removal of a serving judge. Soon after the JSC has received the subcommittee's report, depending on the findings, the JSC will then hand over that report to the president. Upon receipt of that uh, petition, the president is uh, mandated by the constitution to suspend. He has no choice other than to suspend the judge. And upon suspension, then the president uh, appoints a tribunal. While the probe is underway, the suspended judge's salary is adjusted by half. And it is not an open and shut process. Experts contend it could take months, even years. We must be prepared for the long haul because he is entitled to call witnesses. He is entitled to submissions, he is entitled to legal representation. And you have seen the experience in the purge of 2003 and uh, the length of time it took for those matters uh, to be dealt with. Some took three years, I know one which uh, took close to four years. While the accused is accorded a fair hearing, legal practitioners say it goes beyond the facts of the case as established. The rules go further and the constitution under section 160, article 168 goes on to say that the tribunal shall be guided by substantive justice. So it shall not use the strict rules of criminal law, proof beyond reasonable doubt. But now substantive justice is not something that you can quantify within our legal system. It might be based on the feeling and the mood of the nation at that time. It is this process that may be facing the country's first Deputy Chief Justice when the JSC finishes its report. Already the police have finished the investigations into the case and handed over their recommendations that state that the DCJ be charged in a court of law for criminal offenses. Brenda Wanga, NTV. Now the